Ruth. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, "Go, return each of you to her mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me." Then they lifted up their voices and wept again, and Orpah kissed her mother-in-law. But Ruth clung to her. But Boaz answered her. All that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband has been fully told to me, and how you left your father and mother and your native land, and came to a people that you did not know before. And she took it up and went into the city. Her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned. She also brought out and gave her what food she had left over after being satisfied. And her mother-in-law said to her. Where did you glean today, and where have you worked? Blessed be the man who took notice of you. So she told her mother-in-law with whom she had worked, and said, "The man's name with whom I worked today is Boaz." So she kept close to the young women of Boaz, gleaning until the end of the barley and wheat harvests, and she lived with her mother-in-law. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, "My daughter, should I not seek rest for you, that it may be well with you?" So she went down to the threshing floor and did just as her mother-in-law had commanded her. And when she came to her mother-in-law, she said, "How did you fare, my daughter?" <laughs> Then she told her all that the man had done for her, saying. These six measures of barley he gave to me, for he said to me, "You must not go back empty-handed to your mother-in-law."